do it. Kind of locked up in her first joint there. Oh, oh. In her cervical vertebra? Um, where? where her head meets her neck, so uh -huh. atlas axis uh -huh. juncture. Uh -huh. In Alexander work, they believe that basically the body hangs off the head. Oh. Interesting, yeah. Uh -huh. So, same true is true with the horse. So everything we do is to seek to decompress the body. Yeah. So that there's more range of motion. It doesn't matter how old the being is. Mm -hmm. Are you liking that? Now? And then the area becomes softer. She starts to blink. That's a sign of relaxation, and the breaths become. Uh, deeper mm -hmm. and slower, mm -hmm. so that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see her relaxing. And then the jaw starts to relax, and oh. there you go. Wow. That was a spontaneous release. See, she had to unstick it so uh -huh. that she could then move yeah. her jaw. Wow. <laughs> see, and she didn't even realize she was stuck. <laughs> Right. Until we started doing this particular area. And then she's going to move and she may stretch a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Usually they try it out. Like we do if we mm -hmm. get, our, get work done, we go, oh, well, that feels different. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if we have an area in our neck or head mm -hmm. neck that is blocked, mm -hmm. locked, out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we got there. And her nose is running, and her saliva is running, and uh, she was uh, she was due to get that unlocked. And when you yeah. say it was locked, does it just mean that her it's jaw like is tight? When people are in a like certain posture, yeah. horses do the same thing. Huh. We get in habits, and we don't even know it yeah. until someone helps us to release. Yeah. And then we go, oh, that's I didn't how that feels. That. <laughs> horses do the same thing because the, the body is made to survive so yeah. people's, people and animals will just do what they can in whatever configuration to keep going yeah okay well let's see if there's an emotional word just going to try it out some more smack those lips yes yeah. Eight. So her emotional word is good. And then we'll ask her uh, what the contacts are. Temporals. So we're over here with the temporals. With the word good. Good. So all words and Languaging is vibrational, mm -hmm. so the vibration, uh, if you will, radio station called good mm -hmm. is what she needs right now. So when we dial in uh, to 107.5 versus 99.1 versus another mm -hmm. one, so this specific frequency is mm -hmm. what she's asking for right now. Mm. So we wait for a sign of release, which could be head down, or mm -hmm. we'll see what she does. Mm -hmm. There's a big breath, mm -hmm. there's more dripping nose, there's more dripping mouth, there's a blink, there's a soften, good. Now the pulses have come up. I'm just waiting for a little more of a sign. There was a dip, head dip, that's good. There's more blinking, recognition. Mm. And then a little movement of her head, mm -hmm. good. And so to continue the work, as you do uh, your body work exercises on her, I would think the word good to help her to continue to release her body and her mind mm. and we're turning her to more of a natural soul state mm -hmm. remember God's in good God's in good as I like to say all is God all is good all is God this is 
gonna try this way a little bit. And then let's see if that is. Try to get out of our space for a second. Figure out what we're doing next. What do you think, Louis? You see how the eyes open? Yes. Like a recognition. She needs to go for a walk, so maybe go okay. walk down the way and then walk back. Okay, should we, we go for process for a second? Yeah. Yes, Josh. Yes, Louis. Yes. Yes. Are we walking it out? Are we processing? Are we processing? Are we processing? On this beautiful Monday morning. Okay, we're gonna turn around. We'll do a wide turn. Okay, come on. Come on. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Guess what? You're gonna get your brushing afterwards. Yep. That's a good girl. Come on. That's a good girl. Yes. She's been a little bit sore on her little right front. Right or left? I can't remember. That's a good girl. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> a big pass of the gas and a big deep sigh. Smacking of the lips. <laughs> Come on, horse. Uh huh. Come on. Come on. Good girl. She seems like she's been a little bit more sore on her front in the last couple of days. Oh, so another reason for the clay that I may have mentioned or not yes. is that it takes inflammation out of the body. So okay. I would add a teaspoon or a tablespoon of clay to her feet. Okay, to her feet. So you just put a where? Food. Oh, in the food. In. Oh, in her feet. I thought yeah. you said feet. Okay. If the feet are warm, you can put clay on the feet in order uh -huh. to draw out the inflammation. But I her see. feet actually look pretty darn good. She's yeah. made a lot of progress. Yeah. Uh, Come on, Miss. There you go. Adjust yourself. There yeah. you go. Okay, good girl. Good girl. No, no heat. Good. No heat. Where should we go? Or top lumbar. Top lumbar. <laughs>